Yo, 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 it's your boy, D-Star, coming to you live from the trash truck, about to give it to you raw, and I'm about to keep it 1,000. It's not a lot really going on in Lakerland. It's a lot, but it's really not a lot as far as activity with the Lakers. Uh, the biggest deal right now is everybody waiting to June 23rd, and, you know, so we could draft Brandon Ingram, get this over with. Now, in the meantime, while I was on vacation, there was a lot of reports about Okafor possibly getting traded. Um, so pretty much every team in the league was trying to come up with scenarios, mainly uh, Boston. And I even heard some stuff. I seen some stuff, mainly in the forums and chat boards that basically, you know, you had some guys that were like, yeah, we could possibly get Okafor as a Laker. Uh, I don't know if Mitch does that. I don't know if Mitch goes for that, but it is a weakness that we have. Well, uh, we don't have a center, a strong, you know, good center. You, you can either go in free agency and try to woo white side. And as far as white side goes, uh, he's trying to get a max contract. The Lakers have the money. And there's been reports that Miami, they're going to play hardball. They're not going to give him the max. Um, so in that situation, if it does happen that he doesn't get the max, which I think only happens if Bosch decides that he does not, I mean, that he wants to medically retire. Uh, in that scenario, in that situation, um, you know, then the Lakers can they really have a shot at Whiteside. But, um, you know, other than that, um, you know, we all saw the whole KD in the, in the Western Finals situation, you know, how, how he got so close, but somehow couldn't pull it off. And there's been reports about KD that his team, because he's seen, he's under Rock Nation. So uh, there's been reports that his team reached out to uh, the Celtics and said, hey, look, Danny Ainge, if if it's a way that you can get Jimmy Butler and Al Horford, it's a it's you know, KD will come over to the Celtics. Uh, so eh, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's a lie. Everything's kind of just being thrown out there. Um, but yeah, hey, it may be true. It may not. But I think that KD ends up re-signing with OKC for one year. Then after the year's up, he does kind of like a LeBron kind of deal where he does a year and waiting for that contract. And once the contract happened, you know, the contract opens up uh, where, where they got the advertisements on their jerseys, then KD pretty much says, OK, all right, uh, I'm, I'm ready to sign a long term deal. But he might go for the money. He might say, you know what, just sign me up with the money right now. I'll sign a max right now. I don't know how KD is thinking. There was a report that said that KD is what he's looking forward to being wooed by free agent. He's, I mean, being wooed by the different NBA teams, right? And I think that uh, he, you know, he, 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 everybody wants to be courted and treated like, you know, hey, special. So I think KD at least goes out and talks with some teams. Not really signs with anybody except for OKC, but he talks with just to build his, you know, to get people interested and, I mean, to get OKC, like, okay, you know, prepped up, primed up to, to sign him for that max contract. But his max contract's already there. You just got to go out and test the waters to see what's out there. So, uh, you know, that's that's pretty much it, man. You know, a couple Okafor rumors, a couple rumors about, uh, you know, KD and, uh, you know, what he may do in the offseason. But, uh, we don't know, man. We just got to wait and see. As far as the draft goes, second pick, we all know that that's going to be Brandon Ingram. Unless they just shock us and say, the Lake with the second pick, the Lakers select Dragon Bender. And I'll be like, wow, you know, that'll shock me. Like, I, I can't believe that. But I think they're going to go with Brandon Ingram. And, uh, you know, for the 32nd pick, in, it's, it's for anybody who knows. Uh, if you looked at the mock drafts last year, I was pissed off that they didn't grab Robert Upshaw because all of my drafts had Robert Upshaw in the in the in the in the part where the Lakers were, you know, we were going to get Upshaw and he was around the, like a late first round pick, but nobody drafted Robert Upshaw because the heart defect and his off court issues. So uh, Larry Nance was allegedly he was like fifty four for. He was, you know, 53rd or 54th in the mock draft. Like, damn near drafted last, and Lakers picked him up. You know, if they redid that draft, he'd be somewhere in the 20th or 15th, you know, somewhere around the 15th or 20th. So, 
Lakers always find a way of snatching somebody good. Um, but we saw how the Robert Upshaw project worked. Uh, Anthony Brown, he's still, a, he's still a project in the making. So we got to wait and see. Uh, it's your boy, D Star, man. Go follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>